As far as the NL uh, issue is concerned, I understand your awkwardness, your perplexity, but uh, I do not think it's that alarming in the sense that Syria had no other choice, I'm afraid. Uh, so given that, uh, a lot of us actually did not welcome or were not happy with that, but they regarded it as something which was a kind of a necessary uh, development, sad, but necessary. Uh, I think uh, what counts is uh, the political strategies. So if uh, Syriza follows the strategies which are uh, the, the, the political priorities of its own program, we will not have to bother much. Of course, at the level of some symbols, we need to be uh, to keep our eyes open. When it comes now to the Golden Dawn issue, which is a really difficult issue for the Greek uh, uh, state. The Greek state, after years of uh, doing nothing, decided to do something. When I say the Greek state, I speak about the Greek police, and I speak particularly about the Greek judiciary. We needed to have a Greek victim, Pavlos Fisas, in September 2013, to have the machine start working. Now the state, uh, decided to, to show its strength to the Nazis. I say Nazis because they are Nazis. They're not whatever kind of populist, extreme right uh, versions. We're talking about Nazis in the sense that the Golden Dawn, unlike other uh, parties of the same family, let's say in Europe, they, they have a statutory preference to biological racism as the uh, national socialist regime here in Germany had. So. Uh, what do you do with the Nazis, uh, particularly when uh, Nazis uh, do not uh, remain uh, uh, silent, but when they openly uh, promote, advocate their ideas, and when particularly these ideas, as you very well know, provoke to violence. I'm afraid in that case you need to consider the fact that this political party is not in fact a political party, but it is a criminal organization disguised in political party. And I think this is the challenge today to, for the Greek justice to deal with this matter as a real threat to the Greek parliamentarian democracy. Uh, of course, the Greek constitution has uh, guarantees for every entity or person who is accused, and these guarantees of rule of law should be uh, considered, and that is out of question, and, and I say that from a human rights perspective, as firm as I am against the Greek state that have been doing nothing until today with the Golden Dawn, I will be firm in consolidating and keeping the guarantees of the Greek constitution during the trial or before the trial. But I think what is at stake is really to, to, to see at least the political will of the Greek state to deal with this matter. And I'm afraid that till today the message was not clear to them. And that there was a message that, okay, we can live with you or even we can cooperate with you, etc., etc. I think that uh, you cannot cooperate with Nazis. Uh, if Nazis uh, are killed, they should go to jail. And if, uh, if Nazis killed in an organized way, then uh, they should not exist as a party. I say that the far-right political culture has infiltrated the Greek state, particularly the police, uh, and there is a huge historical legacy before that because the police was there in order to protect the Greek uh, state after the Greek civil war against the internal enemy which was the political dissident, which was the communist. So the police had an anti-communist job description a priori in Greece and that is difficult to get rid of today. Um, and of course, as you very well say, there is an issue of cleaning the state institutions of elements who are in a way or another related to far right wing ideologies or even uh, the Golden Dawn. I think it's a matter of political will. And if uh, the new government shows the will that the previous governments have not been showing, I think we have reasons to be optimist. But this is not enough because uh, facing uh, the extreme right, or particularly the most ferocious versions of extreme right, such as 
neo-Nazism or Nazism, uh, is not only a legal issue. It is a political issue. It is an ideological issue. It's a social issue. We need to regain the, the social space we lost in the Greek society against them. We need to regain the political space we lost. We need to reconsider the way we teach our kids history. Because, and then, of course, we need to see how we will deal with this crisis in this country. Because that, it, all this existed before. But the monster of Nazism, of racism, became stronger over the last years. Why? Because people are desperate. So I'm not saying that it's only the crisis which is related to the emergence of far right in Greece. No. But the crisis is par excellence the triggering event. And so if Greece continues in the way it goes the last five years, then we have reasons to believe that even if the Golden Dawn goes to jail, then the spirit of the Golden Dawn will remain in the Greek society. And this is the most important thing, to deal with the roots of extreme right or far right in every European society. One of the major difficulties that the Greek government is facing today when it comes to the evacuation of the detention centers is where to place these people. So that is why the Greek government does not decide to close the detention center, as is the original goal, but to gradually evacuate them because the main point is to find a way to settle or to host this population. Because, you know, if you throw them again in the center of Athens, then you trigger again the uh, racism and uh, all, all the feelings of frustration of the Greek society, which tends to stigmatize migrants for the bad things that happened over the last years, which is not a Greek particularity, of course, but this is something which will amplify this. So we need to take in consideration uh, everything, and we also need to take in consideration the issue of security in the country. Uh, I don't believe that um, Syriza's government is irrelevant to the issue of security. Every left government has its own concern about security, but I think that the left regards security not only as a matter which is related to the guns and the, and, and the machines of the Greek police or the Greek army, but it has to do with mechanisms of social redistribution of, health, of wealth, mechanisms of inclusion, and mechanisms of, of keeping the tissue, the social tissue which is broken today in Greece, in a kind of a situation of a certain balance. And this is what is at stake today in Greece. And this has not, is not only related to migrants, because social exclusion is not an issue which touches migrants only in this country. We're talking about social exclusion of a considerable part of the Greeks also. So exclusion, inc inclusion, has to do with migration, but has to do with major social and political strategies. And this is where we need to see what the new government will deliver. And migration is not a Greek uh, problem. Migration is a European problem, and particularly is a European problem as long as the dominant European strategies of facing migration are based on restriction and the idea of, uh, of a Europe which decides to close borders. Listen, you cannot close borders. Borders are filters. You cannot open borders. This is what I say to my left comrades sometimes. Because they are there. Borders are there. So an open border is not a border. So what you need to find? You need to find a good tuning of the filter. Have the, the border in a way that people are coming and people are passing and at the same time when there is an urgent humanitarian need, you open the border of course and you help the guy who needs to be saved. So I think that uh, what is at stake today with uh, the, the, the Greek migration policy is the fact that we failed over the years, obviously, because in practice what was happening in Greece was a very hypocritical uh, moving, let's say. It's a very hy hypocritical way of tackling migration. Officially, migration was prohibited. Unofficially, migration was very, very welcomed. Because it offered the comparative advantage of low salary without any social security in the Greek black market economy. So, it's like 
when you have a stop at the door, but you leave the window open. So that is why, that's how the system of migration policy worked in Greece, not only in Greece, but in the South Europe, everywhere. So I think that this system collapsed. Why it collapsed? Because when only market is the mechanism of social inclusion, when market collapses, there is no mechanism of inclusion. This is what we face today. And that is why we need to revise that. We need to revise that because we need to invent. We need to, to, to consider, to build mechanisms of inclusion. And this is where a new nationality policy is at stake. We need a new nationality policy. I mean, children who came to Greece with their parents 20 years ago, they are. They want to be Greeks. Of course, a, a German friend of mine said to me a few years ago, eh, it took Germany 40 years to understand that it needed to revise its nationality politics. Maybe for you, you should do it faster because you have no time. We have no time, to be honest. You had time. So uh, th th that is a multidimensional policy. On the first place, security, human rights, find a good balance. Second place, inclusion, nationality, education. So in, in a way which will allow them to to face the problems that we face. This is what I'm talking about. Which will allow them to feel equal with us in sharing our problems. We have a lot of problems, so they have more than we do. So let's try to share the problems in an equal way in Greece. Third way, deal with irregular migration. And this is where we need the message to the European Union. The European Union is very hypocritical when it deals with irregular migration in Greece. They cry because of the, the inhumane conditions in the detention centers in Greece. They would love to have their liberal consciousness clean from these inhumane uh, conditions. But I'm sorry, I don't buy that. I, I want, I do not want my country to be the, the, the bodyguard of Europe, no. I want the European Union to share the burden of this population. This is where solidarity comes. This is where solidarity comes. So I'm not happy if Greece becomes a huge concentration camp with, uh, with uh, detention centers who do not violate the European condition of human rights. No. I want the people who come to Greece to face a normal human state, but in the same time, I want my state to negotiate with the other European countries for a new migration policy and a burden sharing of this population. 